Hi Sagittarius, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I am here to do your weekly love reading for January 22nd through the 28th. This is the Ask Angels deck, so what I'd like you to do is ask a question and at the end we will reveal the answer. This is typically a yes or no answer. It could be a timeline or it could be advice as like what to do. It's really simple, okay? So go ahead and ask your question and at the end we will reveal the answer. We're also going to get some overall energy from this deck. Let's see what comes up for Sagittarius. Jeez, some crow. What is it going to be, huh? Ooh, victory and success. This is equivalent to the six of wands. Okay, this is success. This is this is uh, uh, confidence, courage, nobility, respect, victory and success. And I have pre-shuffled this deck for you, so we're only going to shuffle for a moment. This is the Thelema tarot deck. Oh, you may be overly emotional for some reason at the beginning of this week or even during the week or whatever. This is somebody who is, they may be crying a lot or feeling like they can't control their emotions. I mean, you could be getting upset very easily. There could be something upsetting happening to you. Of course, there could be. It feels like you're going through some kind of struggle, okay? You may, you're may you probably feeling sad about something, Um there's a period or a feeling I feel like you're depressed, holding on, holding on to something, uh, resisting a change. Okay, when this four of pentacle, pentacle, four of pentacles comes up, you're resisting letting go of something that you really don't need. It's like an obsession of some sort. Here, you have to make a choice. What do you really want in life? What are you looking for? Okay. The, the thing is, is this is usually a card of, is it money or love? Okay, that's usually what the choice is. What are you going to choose? The Seven of Cups is about choices, all right? I feel like you guys are probably trying to do too much at one time. You're probably trying to get the best relationship and the best job all at the same time. You know, I think that there's a little overwhelming here. I think that you are overwhelming yourself by trying to do too much at one time. Okay, you know, with this Queen of Cups reversed, I feel like there's your emotions are. Oh, what's the word for it? You're emotional, put it that way. They're thin. You're thin. You know what I mean? It's like you could crack at any any word. You know, you could start crying at any word because you've been through a lot. I see that there's depression here, anxiety, um, but it's because you've. I think there's been some some difficulties in in a relationship of some sort. And you just need to bring balance back to your life. You may be overindulging to cover it up. You may be trying to cover up these feelings of hurt that I see. I think there's some hurt here that you're trying to mask, that you're trying to cover up. You could be trying to covering up a, cover them up with alcohol or drugs or spending or food or whatever but it feels like there's some overindulging here because you're trying to mask some kind of pain all right with this king of swords coming right up coming next i feel like you may be feeling like you're being attacked like you're being treated unfairly and maybe you are being treated unfairly and that's why you're losing sleep because maybe you're being being bullied or being abused okay 
Um, it feels like you really have to shed something from your life. You have to let something go. This is being able to shed the old, something that you've been obsessed with, something that you've been holding on to because it didn't really serve you. It really didn't. I think you were making the wrong choice. Okay. All it did was bring confusion to your life, whatever this is. This is being willing to shed the old, but right here you're trying to bury your bury what was yours, okay, so that no one else can have it. So it's like you have to be able to let it go, okay? And that's what's bringing you so much depression. It's like you can't let something go, and I'm not sure what it is, but it's holding you back. It's 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 um stopping you from moving forward in the other aspects of your life. I feel like you're really trying to do everything at once like as far as the job and the relationship goes you're really trying to excel in both areas and you really need to bring balance to your life like things are out of whack right now put it that way so right now i think you're being offered some truth you're being offered some power this is um an offer from above that's giving you some type of power to cut. This is the sword that cuts something out of your life that was just an illusion that you've been hanging on to because it feels like this person has not been treating you very well. They haven't been very nice. Maybe they've even been abusive, you know, mental, verbal, physical, something abusive. And it's been holding you back. And perhaps you just need to be grateful for all that you have and be on your own. And if you're single and you're watching this, this is telling me to tell you that you have to be grateful for what you have. Okay? Be grateful for what you have. And I know I'm repeating myself because that's a pretty strong message. It's like... With this reverse, it's not being grateful, not realizing all that you are, not re realizing what you can create. This is uh, a negative energy reversed. If you think negative, then you will attract negative. This is as above, as above, so below. You attract what you think. This is also a card of manifestation. You manifest your thoughts, and t this tells me that you're not you're not in this you're not thinking clearly you're thinking negatively so you're bringing more negative into your life oh let me zoom this in for you i'm gonna put this card right here you know, you have the power to master your emotions, but you're not doing that. This is the power. And typically upright, these two, the Queen of Cups and the Chariot card, are mastering your emotions. They're both reversed. This is the power to master your emotions. And thinking is an emotion. If you think that everybody is out to get you, if you think that you have to have your guard up, if you think you need to fight back all the time, that's negative. And that's what, what you will attract. This card tells me that you are in need of getting your life back on track. It's time for you to be victorious. It's time for you to move forward. It's time for you to be respected. But you got to stop overindulging and you got to accept the truth of a situation instead of holding on to something that was an illusion. You have to let go of the past. There's no doubt. It's, you have to move forward. You have to. This is great. Okay, I feel uh, there's a purpose for everything. We have you, the temperance card right here, which represents you. And this is also, they're both cards of purpose. Everything happens for a reason. You are about to start a new cycle in your life. Thank the Lord. Be grateful. Okay, be grateful because you are about to start a new cycle. You're headed in the right direction. As soon as you let go, 
okay? So it's all up to you. Are you ready to start this new chapter? Are you ready to be victorious and successful? Because if you are, you have to let go. You do. Of this illusion that was just that. The wheel will turn on your in your favor as soon as you take action. <sighs> you have to really listen. You have to really listen to your inner guide. Listen to your intuition. And you need to think positive. You need to realize that not everybody has bad intentions. I feel like somebody could come into your life that has really good intentions that could offer you some kind of emotional support, but you may be feeling, you might block this person out because of your negative thinking. I feel like you could be dealing, you could have a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio that comes into your life or has been in your life or a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius or a Taurus that has been into, or Cancer, I mean, I've, I've, what did I say, Pisces, Cancer, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Taurus, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, that's who I see so far. Anyhow, I feel like Right now, there's no forward movement because you're hanging on to the past. And a lot of it is past thoughts and bringing them along with you into your future relationships, thinking that you're unworthy and feeling like nobody has good intentions for you. And if you feel like nobody has good intentions for you, it will eventually turn out like that because that's how it goes. You have the opportunity for new love. Unexpected. Like that wheel says, you have you. There's a turn of events, there's a change of course. So should you be open to it? So if you have to release something, I'd get releasing it. I would do it pronto, because the universe knows if you haven't. All right. There's something that you need to let go of that didn't work out that you've been holding on to, and I feel like if you were to let that go. There could be an unexpected love that comes into your life. This person is not your usual type. They don't look like your usual type. They don't act like your usual type. And they're not who you're thinking. Okay? If you think this lover's card, if you think you know who this is, you're wrong. This is somebody else. But you have to be open to it. You have to be open to it. I feel like you're scared. You're scared of being cheated on. You're scared to have fun. You're scared to put yourself out there. You think nobody's going to want me. But you've got to understand... That everything ends for a reason. When this cycle ends, when you actually make the move to let go of whatever obsession you've been holding on to, that's when a new cycle begins. And this is a card of cycles as well. I see that you guys are starting a new cycle. But, <laughs> you know that famous but, you have to let go of this obsession so if you're still holding on to something then this reading's not for you okay if you're not going to let go of whatever it is you're obsessed with then this reading's not for you okay it's just an illusion okay illusion illusion there's something going on behind the scenes right now working in your favor to change your course but it's all up to you. This is be prepared to live with the consequences of your choice. This that's another meaning of the lover's card. Should you decide to stay obsessed and stuck wherever you've been, then that's your choice and that's where you will stay. If you decide to let new love in and let this one go, whatever this is, then you have an opportunity, a really, really good one. 
The choice is yours. But you have to let go of this past illusion that didn't work out. And you need to replace fear with faith. You need to replace negative with positive. Because you can't juggle both. I'm telling you what. You cannot. It's a time of change. It's a time to bring balance back. And it's time to trust. Twos are about trust. Have faith and trust in the divine. Okay? And have faith and trust in this next person that comes into your life. It's not the last one. And that's what I see. This fear. Whatever you've been through in the past. I feel like you've been abused. And so you have this fear now. Or taken advantage of. Okay, abused or taken advantage of. And I feel like now you feel like you're not worthy. So the next person that comes in, you're going to feel like, oh God, they're gonna, I'm not worthy, so I'm going to be treated like this, so I might as well not even trust them. You're being called to trust, okay? And have faith. Your lack of faith, this is reversed, lack of faith will ruin everything. Think of this as a time of renewal to stand up for yourself. Justice, per se. Even though this isn't the justice card, doesn't need to be. I feel like you have an opportunity for new love, a change of course, which is destined for those of you that are ready, really ready, and you can tell me you're ready. You can tell your best friend you're ready. But you can't tell the universe and God and angels because they know if you're ready. They know if you've let go of this obsession or not. They do. Get moving. Have no fear. Have no fear. That's the message of that card right there. Have no fear. Get moving. Defend yourself. Free yourself. Release what no longer serves you. You don't need to hold on to that anymore. Let go of those burdens. And make yourself available to new love. Unless you want to stay trapped in the current lesson that you still need to learn. About letting go of things that no longer serve you. There's a lesson here. I see that you will be offered a change of course. Whether you choose to accept it or not is up to you. Half of you will and half of you won't. The world card is a major new beginning. Major. A major new phase. We have the new phase as well with the wheel card. We have a new phase here being offered to you and that's why I said it was a 50-50 chance for these cards okay half of you will and half of you won't because half of you won't let go of whatever it is whoever you're with that's a, make, manipulating you and, and making you feel like you're shit whatever you know some of you will stay in that spot because you haven't learned the lesson yet about your self worth it's time to celebrate your success and start the new chapter. But you're going to have to let something go first. We're going to get you an angel romance card. There it is. 
It's true. And don't worry about this card right here. I mean this name right here. Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. Commitment at the highest level is coming. If you choose to accept it and have faith and trust in the divine, in the right time, in the plan, and let go of whatever it is that doesn't serve you. As far as this happening all this week, no, 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 no. This week is about letting go of an obsession for some of you. And for others of you that have already let go of this obsession, new love could be coming in. You have your question? It's a major life lesson, by the way. The thing is, unfortunately, it's reversed. You have to learn it. And when you do, that's when your true love will come in. And, and if you've forgotten self-worth, self-esteem, self-love, self-respect is the lesson. Anyway, you have your question? <laughs> oh, we talked about this already. Trust that the next one won't be like the last. And whatever the answer was to your question, there's your, or whatever your question was, there's your answer. So Sagittarius, this is what I have for you. I want to thank you for tuning in and I will talk to you all next week. I see a victory here for 50% of you. Congratulations.